welcome to my channel today we are going to discuss about offset quadrature phase shift key so before saying about offset quadrature phase shift key we need to under have a clear understanding about quadrature phase shift key so what is quadrature phase shift key or qpsk in case of bpsk that is binary phase shift key we transmit the only a single symbol so which means either we transmit a zero or we transmit a one a zero is represented by a phase shift of zero degree and a one is represented by a phase shift of 180 degree. Suppose instead of transmitting single symbol, if I am going to transmit two symbols, that is if n is equal to two, then the total number of combinations that will be available will be two part two, which is equal to four combinations. So those four combinations are listed in the table can see that these four combinations can either be a 0, 0 or a 0, 1 or a 1, 0 or a 1, 1. Each representation will be represented by a phase shift. So totally we have four different phase shifts. One is 45 degree, 135, minus 145 and minus 135. So, in case of QPSK, totally we can send four different symbols with four different phases. So, these four die bits, which are called as die bits, are represented as follows 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. And the corresponding phase angles are given as 45, 135, minus 1, minus 45, and minus 135. So, we can see that this is the constellation diagram for a QPSK. So since we have totally four different combinations, each combination is represented in the each in different phase angle. That is, the first one takes 45 degree. Then again, one third the first one is at 45, 135, then minus 135 and minus 145. Sorry, minus 45. So, but there is a problem in case of QPSK. What is the problem in QPSK? Whenever there is an input change from 0, 0 to 1, 1, that is when both the bits change. For example, in this case, 0 changes from 0 to 1 and the next 0 also changes from 0 to 1. Similarly, in this in the second case, here 0, 1 changes to 1, 0. Here again, there is a two bit uh, change for example this zero changes to one and this one changes to zero so we can see that whenever there is an input change from zero zero to one one or zero one to one zero or one zero to zero one then the envelope passes through the zero that is whenever there is a shift from zero to one one the signal envelope passes through zero or whenever it changes from 0, 1 to 1, 0, the signal passes through the 0. So if the signal passes through 0, then we have side loops. In order to avoid side loops, in order to avoid such a condition, we need to avoid this 0 crossing. So we go for something called an offset QPSK. In case of offset QPSK, what we tend to do is that we do not allow both the bits to change at the same time. For example, we do not allow this particular change from 0, 0 to 1, 1 or from 1, 1 to 0, 0. We never allow both the bits to change at the same instant of time. So how do we go about this? What we do in case of QPSK is that the I and Q channel, that is the odd and even streams are offset by one half of a bit time. That is at a particular instant of time, only one bit can change from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0. After a half bit time, only the next bit can change. At, at the same instant, both the bits cannot shift from 0, 0 to 1, 1 or 1, 1 to 0, 0. So by doing this, we avoid the generation of side loops. So here, we have, this is shown pictorially in this particular diagram. Here, we have the data, uh, given data as 1, 0, 1, 1, 
zero 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 one one and one so now we are splitting this uh, entire bit stream input data stream into two data streams that is one is odd data stream the other one is even data stream so this first one represents the odd data stream we can find that the first one is an odd data so we have an on since it is one the the data is shown as on but we are taking only odd data bits so which means we are taking this one one this zero this zero and this one so only these are this uh, these are the data bits we are going to consider now so we can find that whenever you have a one that one it will be the, the uh, data stream will be on but it will it will extend for the even slot also because we are not considering even now with the for through the even slot also the same data will be available so this one will continue for two slots similarly the next one will continue for two slots then the next zero will continue for two slots right again the next zero will continue for two slots and so on similarly when we go for the even data stream that is the the q of t we consider these data that is 0 1 0 1 and 1 so we here when we consider the first even even data so it's going to be 0 for two slots again 1 will be for two slots 0 will be for two slots and so on so now, in case of the normal QPSK, what happens is that whenever there is a transition, we can see that this particular case, there is a transition from 1 to 0. And over here in the even stream also, there is a transition from 1 to 0. So which means this 1, 1 gets converted to 0, 0. So at a time, there is a transition. So this, because of this, we have the zero crossing and hence the side lobe issue. But in case of OQPSK, what we do is we give a half bit delay. That is, we, the signal doesn't start here. There is a delay, there is a shift. And hence, we can see that the, the signal starts, instead of starting here at this particular point, it starts over here. So all the changes occur half bit with a bit delay of half bit. So hence you can see that whenever there is a transition of the odd bit stream, right? We can find that there is no transition over here. There is no transition over here. The, there is a transition only half bit after half bit delay. As a result, we do not allow two bits to change at the same time in case of OQPSK. Only one bit is allowed to change at the same time. Hence, we avoid any sort of zero crossing or side lobes. I hope this is clear. Thank you.